Disney's not doing all that well over the past year, if you haven't noticed. And uh, this little article from Bounding Into Comics puts things into a bit of perspective. Financial analysis. Analyst? Analysis? Oh my goodness. Financial analyst speculates the Walt Disney Company, which, you know, Walt Disney, Pixar, Lucasfilm, all that stuff, has lost nearly $900 million at the box office this past year. That is definitely not good. Now, how did they come up with this number? Let's get into it. Oh, God, I said that. Let's get into it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Financial and box office analyst Valiant Renegade recently shared his speculation and calculations that the Walt Disney Company has lost nearly $900 million at the box office in the past year. How does he get these numbers? So, in a recent video upload, Valiant Renegade looked at the eight of the most recent releases coming from studios owned by the Walt Disney Company, including Lightyear, Thor Love and Thunder, Oh, boy. Strange World, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, The Little Mermaid, and Elemental. He shared the estimated budget, production budgets for these films as reported by box office tracking websites such as The Numbers. You can also get those at uh, Box Office Mojo. As well as the estimated marketing costs from outlets such as Deadline and... Well, deadline? Yeah. To provide estimated total costs of each film as well as a sum total cost for all the films combined. The sum total came to $2.75 billion. These are numbers you can find for yourself. I did some digging and he's pretty spot on. So, yeah, these are public numbers. Is A lot of it, the budget cost is speculation, what the studios are giving out, uh, the marketing costs. Again, same thing, speculation and what the studio tells you. Sometimes those costs are underestimated to try and make themselves look good, depending on reshoots and delays and where they're actually marketing. So if a standard commercial on YouTube or on broadcast television will cost a hell of a lot less than if you pay for a commercial at the Super Bowl. So that's where all that stuff comes into play. Now, from there, Volume Renegade explains how box office grosses return to the Walt Disney Company. Typically, 55% do most domestic grosses, 43%, well, because the, stu the uh, theaters have to make some money. 43% of the international gross and 25% of the Chinese box office came back to the come back to the studio. Just stop releasing shit in China. You're not make, stop catering to China. You're not making any money. Cater to your domestic. Make stories for the Western audience. Stop worrying about catering to China. Anyway, <clears throat> next the Alan, the analyst analyst. Hey, ladies, uh, shared his estimates of how much money each film returned to the Walt Disney Company and a sum total of returns. Sum total clocked in at $1.86 billion. Subtract, subtract $1.86 from $2.7 billion, which comes to nearly $900 million. $890 to be exact. My goodness. The rest of the article goes on. Let's see. Uh, economic opportunity cost. The rest of the article talks about the lost revenue from not licensing out to streaming services such, such as Netflix and Hulu and whatnot. I guess, no. Hulu own, is owned by Disney. So, Walt Disney, once the, once, the, uh, the, once the movie comes out to DVD and streaming services, they're put, just putting it on Disney+. Plus. So, they're not licensing it out. They're not getting licensing fees and whatnot from uh, different streaming services that they would normally put it on. Again, Netflix. That's where a lot of companies made a lot of their money. I think Paramount's going back to licensing their stuff out. But this this is definitely not something that bodes well for Disney, especially with um, Indiana Jones coming out later on this month. And the absolute abomination that that is turning out to be, or what it's projected to be, maybe a 50 to $70 million opening weekend. That is not good. Disney, Pixar, they used to be able to print money, and now they're struggling just to break even. Uh, just this weekend, I believe Little Mermaid is about to cross the $500 million box office, uh, box office number, $500 million. So I'll probably be making a video about that. More than likely. Or I just might wait until the very end. I think I'll wait to the very end of its theatrical release just to get just to get the final numbers. Because 
You can only dunk on the Little Mermaid so many times. I will congratulate it for breaking $500 million. I genuinely did not think it was going to make it there, but hey, what do I know? But what do you think about this? Disney can't seem to make, can't seem to cut a break at the box office. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy helped them get over their little hump of, of one failure after another after another. Elemental is not doing well. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think, I think that made a little bit of profit. Strange World, that was an absolute failure. I think between Strange World and Lightyear, that was $100 to $200 million alone. So, box office stuff, not looking good for Disney, Pixar, Lucasfilms, but let me know what you think in the comments. Can you celebrate the failure of a company that's been taking beloved franchises, rehashing them, insulting the previous characters, rehashing and redoing old stories that people loved and putting them in live action. How's that going out for them? Well, we'll see with the next batch of live action atrocities that are coming. Let's look forward to Bambi, but let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like, leave a dislike. I appreciate you making it this far. Have a good one.